I need a crystal ball to tell me how to get more subscribers. What's going on, Power Director peeps? It's Tablet Tuesday once again. And today, I'm going to show you how to make the crystal ball effect using the Power Director Mobile Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director Mobile. The crystal ball effect lets you take multiple clips and blend them together to create a cool overlay effect that looks like your viewers are seeing something in a crystal ball. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the crystal ball effect for your videos. Peer into your monitor and witness the magic before your eyes. Sounded a little creepy, but let's begin. First thing that we need to do is bring the clips with the crystal ball into the main video track. So let's tap on the media icon. Go ahead and make sure that you're on the video tab. And then you want to go ahead and tap on the location where your videos are located. Tap on the clip that you want to use and tap on the plus sign. And it will add that to the main video track. You want to tap back and you want to tap back. Next thing that we want to do is make the size of this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to tap on the clip and I'm going to tap on split to split off the front. Tap on the front end, tap the trash bin to get rid of it. And then I'm going to trim down the end of this clip by just tapping on it, placing my finger over this line at the end, holding my finger down, moving this in and it'll trim this in for me. And that's good. I like where we going. Next thing that we need to do is add the video that we want to see inside of this crystal ball. So. You want to go ahead and tap on back. You want to tap on the overlay icon, tap on the video tab and go to the location where the video is at. Tap on that video and tap the plus sign and it will add it to the overlay track. So we'll tap on this and we'll go ahead and resize it. Make sure that it trim it to the same size as the other video. So it's all good. Now we want to pinch this out to make sure that it's covering the marble. So that's good there. And the next thing we want to do is tap on the mask effect. Then we'll tap on ellipse. And now we'll go ahead and use the nodes to go ahead and resize this. So you want to hold your finger down over a node and then you can drag it in to change the position. And once you get a position where you want, you want to go ahead and use the feather tool on the right to feather it in so it's not as sharp. And once you get that done, you want to tap on back. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to add a blend mode to this. So we're going to tap on blending and we're going to choose hard light. Hard light will make it so that the image that we placed on it will be visible, but also the images that are reflecting on it will also be visible. So if I go ahead and tap on play here, you should see the reflection of the train. It should be at the bottom left when it gets there. Yep. And you still see all the other stuff from the video time lapse that I added. So this looks really good, but. You know me, I want to go ahead and throw some smoke into the mix to make it all mystical, mysticalness. So I'm going to throw another overlay track on here. So let's move our playhead back to the beginning. I'm going to tap on the overlay icon, tap on video, tap on the location where the video is at. And I'm going to use this video of the smoke up here. So I'm going to tap on that and I'll tap on the plus sign and it will add it to another overlay track. So I'm going to tap on this clip and what I want to do is just trim this down so that it's the same length as the other. So they're all 10 seconds now. And then of course I want to go ahead and pinch out to move this marble or this smoke over the marble, make sure that it's all visible. Then I want to tap on mask and I'll tap on ellipse. I will make the same adjustments as I made before. And we'll add the feather back on. 
And of course, right now you see the smoke, but you also see the black. So we need to go ahead and add another blending mode onto this to make sure that we can see the smoke and the other things that were on it before, like the city, the time lapse of the cars and the people, and also the reflection of the train. We want all of that to stay. So we're going to go ahead and tap on back. We're going to tap on blending. And the blend mode that we're going to use this time is called screen. And then if we play this back, we should see everything going on in a beautiful crystal ball effect. You see that smoke right there? Mm -hmm. Smoking. And that's how you make the crystal ball effect using the Power Director Video Editor app. If you decide that you like what the Power Director Video Editor app can do and you want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.